Our guest is a lady star, Miss Marlena Dietrich. Marlena Dietrich? <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth, Kenny. Now go away, both of you. This is a moment I want to share with me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the distinguished screen favorite, the glamour girl of all la uh, glamour girls, Miss Marlena Dietrich. Good evening, Miss Dietrich. Good evening, Mr. Allen. Well, uh, Miss Dietrich, I... I don't know what to say. You're one of those strong, silent men, huh? No, but this is the first time I've, uh, I've ever seen you off the screen. It's, uh, it's quite a shock. Are you disappointed? No, I am agreeably surprised. You look just as lovely as you do in pictures. Thank you. So do you. Uh... <laughs> Oh, you, uh, you have seen me in pictures? Yes. On the screen, you don't look as tall, though. Well, I'm not, I'm not as tall, uh, 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 on the screen. Uh, uh, Marlena, I am a much bigger man in radio than I am in pictures, you see. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but in pictures, I shrink, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I know what you mean. The tea shortage. <laughs> well, uh, Marlena... Marlena, let's get down to business here. Fine, I'm ready. Where are the troops? Troops? What troops? Your note asked me to come here tonight and give a show for the soldiers. Oh, yes. Well, I've heard that you've been touring the country for the Hollywood Victory Committee, giving shows at the various army camps and naval training stations. That's right. Where are the troops tonight? Well, I'll tell you, Marlena. I uh, registered in the draft two weeks ago. You mean you brought me here to do a show just for you? Well, I may have to go to some camp soon, and if you do a show for me here tonight, you can save yourself a trip later, you see. Now, Fred, I've looked into the faces of thousands of soldier boys in the last few months. Yes? Yours is the first face I've seen with a 4F written all over it. Well, I wish you'd do your act for me. They tell me that whenever you appear, the boys tear down the auditorium. You know how soldiers are, Fred. They love good music. I know, I know. Every time I pass Carnegie Hall, the soldiers are breaking the doors down. Again. <laughs> but Marlena, I certainly appreciate this visit, and in, re in return, there's something I would like to do for you. Really? Yes, I'd like to give you some fatherly advice about your movie career. But I'm very happy out in Hollywood, Fred. Oh, but how long can it last with those rough-and-tumble pictures you've been making? You're always getting beaten up. <laughs> it seems that way, doesn't it? Why, the way that Jimmy Stewart slapped you around and Destry rides again, he ought to be ashamed of himself. Say, with Jimmy Stewart, it was a pleasure. <laughs> that uh, beating Broderick Crawford gave you in Seven Sinners? What could I do? He outweighed me. I gave away 30 pounds. 30 pounds you gave away in that pit. Well, in manpower, George Raft and Edward G. Robinson cuffed you around. It was two against one. They ganged up on me. Well, how long can you go on taking these beatings? You know what's going to happen in a few more years? Hmm? You'll be punchy. <laughs> now, you don't want to spend your old age hanging around outside of the Brown Derby with cauliflower ears and Maxie Rosenblum, do you? <laughs> What can I do, Fred? In pictures, a dramatic actress has to play violent roles. Oh, give up pictures in Hollywood, Marlena. Come into radio. In radio, it's different? Oh, in radio, Marlena, there is no violence, no rough stuff. Have you ever worked on Eddie Cantor's program? <laughs> no, fate has been kind to me, Marlena. <laughs> But I was talking about radio drama. You know you can get beaten up and kicked around in radio and not even feel it. Sam does everything. Who is Sam? Well, Sam is the sound effects man. Now, I'll show you how it works. Sam, will you bring some of your sound effects over here, please? Now, uh, Sam's coming over, Marlena. Uh, he didn't make a sound for himself coming over. I'll do it for him. <laughs> now, uh, Marlena, what... What... <laughs> What are some of the things that have bruised you or banged you up in pictures? Well, in one picture, I was hit on the head by a gangster. I had a lump on my head for two months. You were hit on the head and got a lump. All right, now Sam is ready. We'll show you what happens when an actor gets hit on the head in radio. Sam, I'm going to get hit over the head. Now, I'll read the lines for you. See, Sam is ready here. 
He's got all his equipment here. I'll read the lines for you, Sam. No, Joe. Don't hit me with that blackjack, Joe. No. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Now, you see, Marlena, I'm getting my skull fractured, and Sam is beating a honeydew melon here, <laughs> which I am going to eat later on. Into that. <laughs> well, look, my hair isn't even much. Mm, radio is wonderful, well, Fred. I told you. Now, what else uh, has hurt you in pictures? Well, once I had to break down a door. I almost fractured my shoulder. All right, I'll show you how we break down a door in radio. Sam, I'm going to break down a door. I'll give you the lines again. You got the door ready? Open that door. You won't, eh? All right. I'll bust the door down. <laughs> you see, Marlena, that's radio. I have just broken down a door. And all Sam did is smash a peach basket. That's all. Now tell me, what other scenes have left their marks on you? Once I had to ride a runaway horse. I was black and blue for weeks. All right. Now, I'll show you how a horse runs away with you in radio. Now, Sam, you see what Sam is holding here? You see what Sam's uh, prop? What are those? The, Two this... rubber finger bowls? Uh, uh, beg your pardon? Two rubber finger bowls? No, this is a plumber's mashie that... Uh... <laughs> Are plunges, Marlena. Those are the horse's hoofs in radio. Sam, I'm going to ride a horse. <laughs> now the horse is running away, Marlena. Try to stop it. Whoa, whoa, nice horsey. Whoa. Oh, help me, Fred. It won't stop. Whoa, Sam. Back up, Sam. <laughs> That's radio, Marlena. A horse ran away with you, and look, your hair isn't even out of curl. And it doesn't hurt me to sit down, either. I know, I told you. Well, you've seen all the abuse you can avoid. Now, how about going into radio? But what could I do, Fred? Say, I found a script of one of those serial programs on the floor of the studio when I came in this morning. You, uh, you might have a go at that. What is the show like, Fred? It's called Brave Betty Birnbaum. <laughs> your, uh, your part starts on page 28. But the whole script is only 30 pages. Well, I know. The first 27 pages are a commercial. <laughs> you've, uh, you've heard those programs, two sobs and a commercial. Yeah. Well, let's run through this little scene at the end here. You play Betty Birnbaum, and I'll play the boy's part. I shall be Sean Shapiro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't play the scene, Fred. You can't play the scene? Why not? Says he at the end of the scene, Betty kisses Sean. Yes, that's the finish of the episode. You kiss me. I'm sorry, Fred. Marlena, you don't want to kiss me? Oh, it isn't that, Fred. Well, you don't think that I brought this whole thing up just to get you to kiss me. Oh, Fred, I know your intentions are good. Well, I realize there's been a lot of loose talk going around since Benny kissed Ann Sheridan on his program last week. People are saying that no glamour girl would kiss me. Oh, why, that's ridiculous. You think a glamour girl would, Marlena? Why not? A girl in pictures kisses all sorts of people. <laughs> Part of her job. Part of her job. It's purely a professional gesture. And that's all, Fred. But Miss Sheridan was on Benny's program last week, and she kissed him. Now, how do you account for that? If the kiss was in the script, it was part of Anne's job. To Anne, it was another head. That's all. Just another head, huh? <laughs> well, tonight you are working on my program, Marlena. Yes, Fred. And uh, this uh, kiss here in the script is uh, just uh, another head to you? Just another head. Just another head. Marlena. Yes, Fred. Uh, will you? <laughs> Fred? <laughs> yeah, Fred. Yes? This is radio, isn't it? Yes, Marlena. Sam? Sam, I'm about to kiss Mr. Allen. Now, wait a minute. What has Sam got to do with it? Never mind. Let's play the scene. All right. Oh, Fred. Kiss me, Marlena. Now, Sam. <laughs> there you are, Fred. Fred. 
A fine thing. You kiss me and Sam gets wet knuckles. <laughs> That's radio, Fred. See you later. I certainly shall. And thank you, Miss Marlena. Deeper. <laughs> 